Well, 2021 is most definitely shaping up as the year of the adoption of digital products and services. The pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced new and innovative ways of working to allow uh, the property industry to continue on. And, you know, we've seen such things as digital um, viewings. Uh, we've seen... Um, keyless access through digital keys. Uh, we've seen the whole tenant referencing process uh, sped up uh, by the use of open banking and not having to wait to hear from employers and uh, you know previous landlords and all that kind of thing. So it's a very, very interesting uh, time. And you know one of the key things about being a digital landlord is it aids with your compliance. Now we all know that as a landlord you have many, many legal obligations uh, to provide your tenant with a safe and compliant home. And I think I'm right in saying that currently there's over 180 government statutes and regulations that you need to adhere to in order to make sure that your property um, is safe and compliant for your tenant and um, you know we're all human and it's quite easy to uh, forget something or miss something or for something to uh, slip through the net and that's where digital tools like Lendlord come in and I'm once again joined by Lendlord co-founder and CEO Avram Shaha and Avram um, you know in our uh, themed month Landlord Digital Lives we've um, heard from lots of different landlords about how valuable um, Lendlord has been in helping them be compliant and you know let's not forget that uh, you know Lendlord's kind of initially uh, came out as a property portfolio financial management system and it's had lots of other different modules added over you know the last 18 months two years or so um, and people are really getting so much benefit um, from the compliance aspect and you know reminding when you need a new gas safety certificate or um, you know you need a new EPC done and or you need your insurance renewing these are all just automated um, alerts aren't they yes absolutely so once you store uh, your details your property details um, uh, at the land of software uh, then automatically you can get alert on basically any due date um, and it can be all the compliance things like gas safety certificates EPCs EICR um, due dates and of course as you mentioned insurance due dates mortgage product expiry dates um, midterm inspection and you basically you can store many many dates and get alerts um, when the times the time comes to do something and um, yeah you're going to give us a little um, demo um, and just show us how uh, to not you know obviously you have to input the data first so you have to let the software know when certain things are going to expire um, but once you've done that then it's just working on your behalf in the background waiting for the due date to come up to um, signal to you that you need to do something how, how does that um, occur Avram when you've got uh, you know an important compliance due date starting to appear on the horizon Okay, yes, so first um, you need to put, uh, to enter the data. Um, the way uh, uh, you do it is, for this example, I will add the new property. Uh, so in the right sidebar, let's put just like uh, an address for the example. And I will not put now any other data, just the due dates. Uh, so the first due date will be in the mortgage fields, and this is your mortgage expiry date. No. And that's really important because um, obviously if you're on a fixed term rate, you would want to know uh, when you're going to go onto the lender's SVR, they of course will uh, notify you themselves. But you know, things can get lost in the post, the dog can chew up the envelope. <laughs> um, this is kind of like a, a fail safe really, um, just a backup as well to make sure um, and you know, as Avram was, uh, I'm sure, about to say, you, you may be coming to the end of your mortgage term, in which case you definitely need to think about um, if you are going to remortgage to another lender or you're going to sell the property or whatever it might be, you have to uh, be ahead of the game in thinking about how you're going to take action when that event occurs. Yes, definitely. So this is very important, and you can track, just put the due date, and you will get alert. Um, and I will show after that where you get those alerts. 
Uh, there are many, not many, but several places that you can see the due dates and uh, the, the places that you can basically get the alerts. And it will be your, through your like, uh, email and in the notification sidebar that I will show in uh, a minute. Um, after that, I would go to the property details field. And here there are uh, other due, important due dates. So if it's an HMO property, you can track the HMO license due date. This is like another thing you can uh, uh, store. Uh, let's go to midterm inspection date. So it's, um, yeah, of course you have also fire alarm test date, emergency lighting test date, uh, but where, yeah, midterm property inspection due date. So if you do it by your own, uh, you can track this due date as well. I put all the dates now like close, so I want you to see the alerts after that. So let's put February 2021. Um, then, then the insurance uh, due date when your land insurance is about to uh, expire and like and you need to, uh, basically to renew it. Yeah, and I think just to point out, Avram, that um, you're you're going through all of the compliance uh, issues. That it's it's like a prompt. Uh, you know, some landlords not may not be aware of some of the things that they're legally obliged to do. Um, and if they see one of these fields, it, it could, um, you know, tip them that they, they need to take care of that aspect of the business. Definitely. Yeah. It's also like, it might, it, you can look at it as a, some it's kind of like a checklist. Yes. That's um, what I was going to say. I was reaching for that word checklist. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, definitely. Uh, so the next section is your gas safety certificate fields. And here uh, also you can put, okay, when is uh, my ne next date that I need to uh, renew my certificate? And as well here you can put uh, the due date. Uh, after that, the EICR, the electrical check. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like every five years now or- Yes, it's every, every five years. Um, so also important to put this date and be on track when the time comes. Um, EPC. So first, of course, you can track your when, when is the current uh, um, when basically you got the certificate and what is the level of your property in terms of uh, the efficiency level and when is the next uh, uh, due date. And this is not sure if it's five or ten years as well, um, but of course you can store this uh, due date on landlord. Um, and if you have other financial products also with expiry dates, excuse me, you can definitely put it um, as well. So now let's store this property. Um, the other is 96, I click done. Then you can see that uh, uh, immediately I get the notifications for due dates that are about to expire in the next three months. So in the alerts, notification sidebar and this accessible from this uh, icon uh, on the top bar you can see that i have now electrical check due date in march 9th mortgage product expiry date landlord insurance date gas certificate uh, due date and i also have from different property gas safety that was already expired and here i can either schedule an engineer to take care of it or just update the due date perhaps this was just like this was the problem. If you want to see your entire due dates, you can go to the insights page. And here you will have um, a list of all your next 12 months um, due dates. So that you can see how fantastic that is to have it all di it literally diarized like that. And I think the other thing to say, Avram, is that should new uh, legislation or regulation uh, be introduced by the government because this is uh, you know digital technology your team can immediately um, update and add in new fields relevant to yep. to that new legislation as indeed as an example when um, the stamp duty holiday was announced landlord team were Im immediately able to go in and change the stamp duty calculator to reflect uh, the new 
uh, stamp duty regime. So again, uh, you know, everything is, is right up to date. And, and, you know, when you're running a business, when, you know, literally your tenants' lives um, could be at stake if you make a mistake, um, you should really appreciate the importance of uh, being a compliant landlord and having these uh, reminders to, to help you to be uh, a compliant landlord. Um, and obviously, Avram, uh, here in the UK, if you are a non-compliant landlord, um, the, the fines are very, very significant. Um, and there, are, in some cases, there are, are unlimited fines. Um, and if something terrible happened, like there was a, a, a boiler issue at your property and there was a carbon uh, monoxide leak um, and a tenant, God forbid, died, you would have evidence that you had, you know, had a gas safety certificate done and that you'd had your boiler um, maintained. So all of these, it's, it, it's building up into an audit trail as well, isn't it? Yes, yes, definitely. And you can see everything uh, diarized in this page and you can get all the alerts and you can see the checklist on the My Portfolio page to see all the information that you need to track. Uh, you can also integrate it to your, um, if you maintain a Google Calendar, um, a Google Calendar, you can also put it um, as a reminder on your own personal calendar in one click. So you'll have another, another place to track the due dates. Um, and of course, you will also receive um, an email uh, from landlord uh, before the due dates, and you can define the frequency on the settings page. So if you want uh, to receive a due date notification, you can mark all the reminders or, okay, just remind me 30 days before, that's enough. That's also something you can do. So you can you configure the, the alerts as well to your email. Um, so yeah, so I would say this is the place if you, if you want to uh, be on track on all the due dates, just make sure that you put all the due dates on landlord. I also um, created this to showcase a due dates view. We have a separate video how to set up views. But here you can see like for each property, um, all the dates. And you can see that I in this demo account they didn't enter all the dates. Uh, so this is also a, a, a way to understand, okay, which dates I didn't um, enter and just go edit uh, the property and add all the relevant due dates. So you will have everything tracked and be alerted. Indeed, all in one place, all on one piece of software in the cloud that you can access from anywhere, as we call it, it's the uh, it's like carrying a port your portfolio in your pocket, and uh, you could get a reminder and act on it instantly um, and keep compliant. So um, I'm sure everybody's been extremely impressed with that demo, um, Avaram. It, it it really is belts and braces, actually, isn't it? Just making sure that nothing could possibly kind of fall um, through the gaps. Yes, yes, this, this, is, uh, this is the goal of, uh, uh, you know, for us at Landlord like, to develop this platform, like to help Landlords be more organized, be alerted, uh, get a lot of insights and information. And, uh, and of course, you can carry it uh, uh, on your mobile um, to anywhere. Indeed. Well, we've got loads of um, different webinars and uh, demonstrations in the Landlord Digital Life Tribe on Property Tribes. So if you do want to uh, get a better understanding of some of the different modules on Landlords, you can uh, use the link that I will supply with this video. Um, but otherwise, please do, if you're not already a user of Landlord, jump across to landlord.io. It's free to join free to use uh, and have a look around and start putting some property uh, details into the software and just see those 
wonderful uh, insights start to appear in front of your very eyes. I call it, it's uh, landlord magic. So um, hope you found this uh, conversation valuable um, and Avram and I will be back again uh, with more uh, insights how to get the most out of uh, the landlord software. But for now, um, thank you for watching. Do uh, like, um, subscribe to our channel and smash the notifications bell and do also um, have a look at Lendlord's YouTube channel as well and uh, join up there because there's lots of material there as well. But for now, it's um, goodbye from uh, Avram and myself. Goodbye.